before Islam, before Islam, women really had no say. Women couldn't inherit. Women could, okay, tell me another religion. Fine. You know that in Islam, a woman is not allowed to change her last name to that of her husband's. Because she has her own individuality, which Islam will never compromise. How many other cultures, when a woman, you know, marries another man, she carries his last name, even if they divorce or he dies, she now has changed her, her relevance to her own family tree because of marriage. Where do you think this came from? Islam prohibits that. That has existed before Islam and it exists until now. So before Islam, women couldn't, uh, they couldn't uh, vote. Women couldn't do this, women couldn't do that. Women used to be buried alive. At the time of the Prophet and the Arab, uh, Arabian Peninsula, when a, a person would have a daughter, they would bury her alive because they thought that women were shameful. And Allah revealed verses in the Quran. When the, when the girl that was buried alive will be asked, for which crime was she killed? Meaning this is a reprimand from God for mankind who have done this. So Islam actually gave women rights that they never enjoyed before. That said, you have to know again where to draw the line. If you want the woman to become like the man, then you're asking for the impossible. Do you not see that God made us physically different? Because we are psychologically different? Because we are mentally different? It's the most logical thing in the world. Ma'alish, I don't want to be explicit or graphic. Male, female. Dude. Put it together. It's, it's what it is. And they're not the same. They're not the same physically. Why do you want them to be the same in terms of their role in this world? It, it, it will not be successful. You could, you could, and people try. A husband is washing the dishes. And a woman is out, you know, building uh, construction. You can do that. Sure, you can do that. It's up to you. We're not saying that the woman's role is to be in the kitchen. We're not limiting that. However, the role of the mother in the house in terms of catering for the children is something a man can never do. And I'm telling you, I'm a father. I don't have the patience to deal with my children for more than six minutes. <laughs> and I love them. After six minutes, like, listen, man, <laughs> ask your mother. <laughs> Can I eat the pancake with a banana? I want to put the hammer. Hell, I'm the hammer. Yeah, I'm eat the whole fridge, yes, chef. Can I? Do I don't have. The mother sits there and breaks it down. Let me show you how to make a pancake. Yeah, chef. I'm going to go show my son how to make a pancake. I don't need. I barely know how to eat a pancake. If it's healthy. So the, we just, it's, I, I, I identify, I respect my wife for things that she does that I will never be able to do. I, I don't even want to do. Because I'm incapable. And trust me, I'm speaking for 90% of men. I know you will find exceptions to the rule, but I told you in the beginning, we don't care about exceptions. Because exceptions cannot highlight everybody else. And the wife doesn't want to do the job of a male either. Because it takes away from her feminine nature. So it's just logic, it's a very logical thing. We respect the individuality of the roles. I don't want the male to be a female, and I don't want the female to be a male, otherwise things will get mixed up. And exactly what we see today. Children are confused because they don't know who's running the show sometimes. And so don't don't confuse the fact that we differentiate between the roles as that being a reason for women to become negligible or unimportant or inferior. They can never be inferior. There, there isn't a prophet except that he was born from a mother, including the miraculous birth of Jesus. There was no father involved, but there was a mother. There has to be a mother. And no one can replace a mother. No one can replace a sister. No one can replace a wife. No one can replace a daughter. No one can replace an aunt. They're not, the uncle is not like the aunt. 
You don't have the same kind of conversations with them. You don't have the same discussions with them. It's about identifying the difference between them and giving each their due right. Those rights vary, but each are relevant to their nature. And it's the perfect creation of God. 